Welcome back to State of Decay 2 and the Commune. Uh, Tiffany here uh, is going to go out and try to find some food for her people. Look, do we have seriously more freaks around this base than we had at the beginning of the previous episode? Like, I spent the previous episode trying to clear out freaks from around my base. I, I seriously think we have more now. Like, I completely wasted my time. Um, so, I'm not actually sure where a good place to get food is right now. Because uh, I think I've probably blasted through a lot of the obvious spots. You can see that a lot of these, even like these, you know, um, swine and bovines and tartan marts that would have food at them are partially searched. Which means, okay, this one, the teriyaki restaurant, not searched. So I'll have to go over there and deal with that. Uh, one thing I should look at, though, is my outposts. Because, yes, this is a level 2 food outpost. I can make this a level 3 food outpost, which will certainly help. I'll spend some materials and some influence, but I've got those things. Actually, let's have a look at our food situation. So, yeah, we are eating negative 13.5 food per day, and we've got a food outpost providing 3 per day. So that's that's not great. That could be going better. Um, <laughs> so, I can't get rid of my trade depot. I mainly used this auto shop to make some upgrade kits uh, for a bounty. I could also... You know what? Let's make ourselves some toolkits. I'm going to make myself a bunch of parts. We'll make a bunch of toolkits. We'll try to store up everything we need from the auto shop. Then let's consume this auto shop and replace it with a food producer. And similarly, I mean, the shooting range and... You know, the gym are fine and all. I mean, it does give me a little bit of extra stamina, but hydroponics would probably be better. Wait a minute. I forgot. Can I do hydroponics outdoors? Or do I have to do them indoors? Coalition is recommending that I use my kitchen to produce some food. Uh, where was it? Oh, was it collect seeds? It was... Ah, there it is. Produce food. Yeah, so basically, you can take six boxes of seeds and six jugs of ethanol and make food out of that, which is hilarious. Um, that sounds disgusting. It's like like the worst. Like it's like Zoom oatmeal uh, or whatever that was called. Like like the, it's it's the worst brand of like mush that you can have. When I was a kid, people tried to feed me. I love cream of wheat. I love Quaker oats. People tried to feed me Zoom. And it was the worst thing I've ever tasted. Uh, it's like that, only spiked with alcohol. <laughs> Just like, wh who wants this? <laughs> okay, so Coalition is confirming that, yes, I can do hydroponics outdoors. Makes sense, right? So, let's do some hydroponics. Wait a minute, what am I missing? No, but I can't because I don't have knowledge of utilities. Ah, and I don't... I, I assume I don't have any characters with empty fifth slots. No. Okay, I don't have what it takes, but that's fine. I'm in dire enough circumstances. Honestly, I will take a regular old farm here, and that is just fine. Um, let's make some more parts. Okay, so we're trying to, in the background, improve our whole food income situation, which will make this less dire. But at the same time, we should go out and collect some food. So let's do that. Uh, so La Coalition made a point uh, right before the episode started. Oh, hello, Mr. Juggernaut. Can I just avoid you? Thank you. Um, that starving, starvation in our game does not really have a powerful impact. Um, and, and he's right. You know, and actually, so early on in the development of State of Decay 2, um, we actually had a plan that involved, like, making... Just before we added all the resources and all the complexity and everything, we were like, we should just make a version of this game where it's just about starvation. It's just about food. It's like you got to go out, collect food, face zombies in order to get the food. In the meantime, your people back home are starving, and if you're not feeding them enough food, they're going to die. And it's like, let's just make that simple version of the game. Get that feeling good, and then start adding complexity to it. But, it'll, but having that as a foundation will sort of ground it as a proper survival game with a real fear of death. And it was right then that we switched engines. <laughs> And we did not enact that plan, and we ended up sort of, like, moving at a breakneck pace and doing things in kind of arbitrary orders, and State of Decay 2's development was a little bit of chaos. Um, but I think that was a good plan, uh, and I would love... The, the thing is, like, 
we did have a harsher version of starvation, um, at least planned. I don't remember if we fully implemented it, but we did have a harsher version of starvation, at least planned. And we had all of these ideas and rules for, like, you know, how starvation would play out. You know, like, what the process is of killing people with starvation. I think... The, what, oh, hi. The way we had it work was that, like, the entire community would enter a state called starvation. We're like, okay, we're starving now. And then every, like, periodically, we would switch characters into this status that was called hungry. And if somebody's hungry, or maybe we'd have everybody be hungry all at once or something. Uh, anyway, people become hungry. And when you're hungry, you have, uh, like, a stamina penalty, which I think is like what the, the way the game works now. But we would then escalate it. And basically, starting with the characters who had the lowest base stamina, we would start making characters starving. And when they're starving, you take a worse stamina penalty and things are more dire. Oh, yeah, I just got something to augment a garden. Perfect. Um, all the penalties get worse. And then if this, if, if, if your sort of, um, if your lot gets drawn again after you're already starving, then you die. And so basically we, we would go through the entire community and like, you know, one at a time make the characters be starving. And then once all the characters were starving, you start killing off characters. There are problems with that. Like, for instance, does that mean that if you have a larger community, it's harder to starve? Apparently, according to that map. Uh, so, dang it. Okay, seriously, stop it. So, I think, what I just described is roughly how I think it worked. It was a long, it was years ago, so I could be misremembering. I think that's how the proposal worked. There's clearly problems with that proposal, uh, and so we would have had to tweak it anyway. But I think what we ended up doing was just tweaking it into not being as big of a deal. Oh, that's right. I've got, I need to empty my backpack. Uh, we just tweaked it into not being as big of a deal. Um, partly just because we were really, really worried. Uh, this was before, you know, we, we added the lethal zone and all the things that make the game exceptionally difficult later on. Um... At this time, our main anxiety was, can we make this game not drive players away? Because, you know, it was potentially so difficult and frustrating. There's a serious fear that, like, most players would play this game and and, and find it just, like, uh, forbidding. Find, like, oh, it's just like, my, my characters are just dying all the time. This isn't fun. And then they would put the game away. And so we made sure to tune it so that... A typical player wouldn't just be driven into a death spiral. And that meant sort of nerfing starvation. Um, and so, but yeah, I definitely can, can imagine, you know, there being like a version of this game that could be really interesting where starvation is more of a threat. Like I could see it might be worthwhile, worth like, you know, I don't know, sending a suggestion to the support site. If you're interested in like, say, the lethal zone amping up starvation. Like saying, you know, if you decide to play, you know, lethal community, uh, for instance, Maybe make it so that starvation is actually lethal. The characters will actually start dying over time if you don't feed them. Oh, oh another aspect of it that we had thought of was that the, the the snack consumable, you know, could have its normal use of uh, of you know giving you instant stamina in combat, which is silly, but whatever. Uh, we could we could give you that, but also if you're starving, then you can consume it to stave off your starvation. So you can basically use your snacks for a little while. Um, to keep your people away from the brink of starvation. But that will only last so long. And actually, you probably end up consuming more snacks that way. And you and, and you, know, you could you, like use them to survive longer than you normally could. But at the same time, it would only be a temporary solution, you know. Okay, so Cogs uh, just scrolled back to my previous episode and found the spot where I was, um, where I killed the, uh, my zombified friend and allegedly should have been able to find his body. But it sounds like he was by this blue wrecked car. And if that's the case, yeah, I already looked around that car. There is not a dead body there. Oh, excuse me. Seriously? Okay, well. What, there's another one? Ah, oh, dang it. All right. Anyway, back we go. I mean, I've got, you know, a bounty to kill zombies with vehicles. Might as well. Da, 
That's 12. That is not 13. There's 13 and 14. Okay, I'm gonna drive... Let's drive north. And... Oh, come on. No, stop it. Oh, freaking... Okay, whatever. Let's just kill all these zombies this way. Terrible for the car. Here I am. Here I am trying to save up toolkits. And I'm wasting toolkits. Okay, so... Let's craft some more bulk toolkits. Okay, let's make some more parts. We're finally running out of materials, uh, which is kind of nice. I had so many materials when I moved into this place. So let's grab one of those toolkits. Repair this car. I almost said refuel, but repair this car. So Game Roundup says, uh, oh, Gamer Roundup, excuse me, says, are you playing on a Series X that looks crystal clear? Yes, I am playing on a Series X. I was actually really, really excited when I discovered how well State of Decay 2 plays on a Series X. Um, is this one bad? Aha, no, okay, I'm going to drive a really, really long way to get a little tiny bit of food. And hopefully that will feel worthwhile. Oh, fine. All right. I've almost got the zombies that I need to kill with the cars. Actually, why don't I just... These guys seem non-threatening. Oh, no. But the feral. But the feral. Let's just get a little distance between me and that feral. Oh, so Lako Lucian suggests that I should actually, uh, when I play Lethal Zone someday, I should grab a character with the uh, with the cuisine skill because apparently that doubles the production of food in the kitchen. Uh, which reminds me, actually, I should probably go back and uh, trigger some more kitchen food production. So let's. Where is the kitchen? There it is. Because I think I've got plenty of those uh, of seeds and alcohol. So. And then, okay, we've got our garden. We should upgrade our garden. I don't think, I can't install a mod while I'm upgrading, can I? So we'll upgrade the garden. Auto shop, how you doing? Okay, I think I've done, I've used enough materials. Let's craft some more bulk toolkits. And now, let's kill the auto shop. Goodbye, auto shop. Hopefully I won't need that many more. And then let's plant a garden. A farm. Let's plant a farm. And let's head up here to grab some more food. See you later, Hop Cipher. Airy Twitch says, my friend and I are hooked on bounties. We want more. Are they popular content? You know, so I'm not the right person to ask because it's been a while since I've looked at the numbers. But, uh, but yeah, so we actually do, like, uh, we we grab data from, from players uh, when we release bounty packs to sort of see who, which bounties people engage in the most, uh, you know, uh, like whether people will come back to the game just to play bounties, that sort of thing. And they are, uh, I, I would say they are reasonably popular. Yeah, I think they have been a success at uh, sort of taking people who, you know, might have, you know, not felt any particular urgency to play the game and giving them a reason to come back and play each month. Um, and, yeah, and I think that the most popular bounties are tend to be, I think, the... Well, there's two. Like, the ones that give you the fanciest cool weapons. Oh, yes! What a great way to finish that bounty, rolling over onto a zombie. Um... The, for the, bounty, the bounties that are gimmies, that are really easy to get, tend to be really popular. And then also the... Uh, wait, does this spot have any food in it? Well, I'll get out and see. Um, and then the bounties that offer, like, really cool weapons. Uh, or, or very, you know, cool custom... Like, the coolest customization items and things like that will be popular. Yes! Uh, take that and that. Uh, stop it. 
and that. Oh, come on. Oh, and now we got a zombie threat at home. I'm letting so many zombies hit me right now. I gotta cut this out. Unfortunately, this is one of my many low stamina characters. Okay, that is two bounties complete. That's nice. I don't learn my lesson, though. I keep fast searching. Coalition is suggesting there actually might be a farm up north that I haven't finished looting either. Uh, let's look at that. Is there a farm up here? Oh, you know what? I haven't searched around... Oh, there's a lot of places that I just haven't even scouted. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. I was zoomed out too far. I was like, what? Okay, yeah, so there are places around here I haven't scouted, but this wasn't telling me that. That was just me not being zoomed in enough. Um, well, let's drop this off. Boink. And that's not stackable. But then the place I really came to see is El Burro Gordo. The fat ass. Um, Do I have to kill every zombie myself, people? Ah! Alright. Search this. And search this. Hmm. These have food. Oh. Alcohol, next best thing, I guess. Okay, there's one more container. Ah, this giant freezer. Yes. That's where it is. I think those zombies are... Uh, okay, some of them are going after the, the window because that's where the sound came from, but one of them saw me. Well, I got a little bit of time. Drop that off. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, let's, let's poke around a little bit up here. Actually, you know what? I should see if... It's not like I've got infinite fuel either. Let's see what we've got at this site. Oh, there's a fuel rucksack. And I've got no more room in my inventory. That's cool. Let's drop the fuel rucksack off and then let's use the fuel, the gas can that I brought. Right, do we need to use it? Yeah, we probably should use it. Oh wait, I need to drop some things. Drop this, grab this, use this. Oh, right. Uh, Cogs is reminding me about the Enigmatic Axe, which is a special item only available on this map that I've, I don't think I've ever grabbed it on my personal stream. I think you're right, Cogs. So that might be worth checking out. All right. So, yeah, no, that might be actually um, kind of fun to uh, to go check that out. Maybe not on this trip because reasons. Um, which of these is the farm? Is it this? I don't know. Let's just drive up that direction and see. Okay, Cog says that yes, I correctly identified the farm by its big squareness. Okay, it look, it's one of those wrecked farms, but I think as long as its uh, loot profile is the same, it doesn't matter. Oh, I just heard a bunch of birds, and it made me terrified that I was about to get um, exit camped in uh, Vigor, but that's not the game I'm playing. Um, nope, this one is already clean. But that's fine. Oh, actually, you know, I just realized I completed some bounties. I don't have space in my inventory to work that out. So 
Let's head to an outpost first, and then head to the bounty broker, so I can drop off some of these items. And then swap my bounties out. Okay, how... Dang it, how long is this thing? Oh, Renneth Court is suggesting that I could claim that farm as an outpost. That's an interesting idea. Because, yeah, because then I would get the food benefit from that. I had been thinking that I wanted to grab the, um, the unique outpost for this particular map with that slot, but maybe my desperation for food is good enough. So, yeah, I was saving it for the landmark outpost, Coalition, but... Well, let's, let's go do some math. So, where are we now? Okay, so we now have a food outpost giving us 4.5 a day. G garden giving us 2 a day. So, we're at 6.5 a day. So, we still need to fill out 7 a day. So, once we have this farm complete... Um, and, let's see here. Okay, let's have this one have the 50% food yield. So, the other one can have the 100%. Once I've upped the yields for both of these farms... And... I'm like scattering seeds in them. I might actually, I, I mean, okay, I don't actually, I don't, I don't know the numbers on these things well enough to be able to tell you what the math is. I might not need this facility. I, I'm sorry, this outpost. Th this might actually, I might, I don't know if I'll definitely break even on food, but I think I'll be close enough that I'll only have a trickle of food coming out of my, uh, coming out of my uh, uh, storage. So I think I'll probably be fine. So let's still head down to this other... So I, I think I still want to keep that space open for the landmark outpost. Now, originally I was saving up um, influence so that I could grab that landmark outpost. He said nonchalantly rolling his jeep over. Um, but I just used it upgrading my um, my food outpost. So I'll have to earn a bunch of influence. Oh, actually, oh, wait. The zombie threat at home is only two minutes away. Oh, crap. And I think we fixed that one bug. Where is the... Where... Aha. I think we fixed the bug that would have allowed me to sort of cheese it. So... Do I just let them take care of it? You know, we fight... I fight so many so many, um, what are they called? Sieges on this channel. It's okay if I skip one. We'll be fine. So, so unless there's a miracle, I'm skipping that siege. And I'm just gonna go over to the bounty broker, take care of business. So, yeah, Coalition was doing the math and sees that, yeah, it does look like I'm doing pretty good with the uh, investments I've already made in food. So we're probably okay. So I should definitely grab that zombie headshot bounty because I shoot a lot of zombies and it's just a waste if I'm not getting prizes for them. All right, so let's collect that influence, which will be helpful. Let's also collect the slasher machete. And then... Melee 10 freaks is what I should do. And then headshot non-freaks. There, just give that a little uh, test run. What the? I know I'm supposed to melee kill some freaks, but uh, wasn't going to risk it with that. What? So many freaking zombies now.
very grateful for um, aim snap. Come on, when does aim snap? There it is. All right. Well, that was fun. Oh, what the? There's another one? Oh, you jerk. Okay, anyway. <laughs> That's my favorite finisher. Hitting another zombie with with a bye blow while you're, you know, aiming at the main one. Okay, so we missed the siege, but that's okay. It's fine. We're still going to head home feeling relatively successful. Wait a minute. Stop that! Okay, I thought this was gonna be freaking clever. Not when there's so freaking many of them! Okay. The fact that they're tag teaming me is giving me a problem. There we go, that's all I wanted. I hit myself in the freaking face with my Molotov. What the? Freaking bloater? Oh, of course, because I let so many screamers scream. Of course there's a bloater. Oh, come on. Alright, alright, alright. I just... I just don't want to get in the car with so many zombies. You know what? Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. There we go. Whatever. We're fine. We're fine. Getting out of here. All of that to get one freak killed in melee. Thing is, like, I, I'm terrified of ferals, so I don't want to go after ferals in melee. Bloaters cannot be killed in melee. Uh, you can perform that execution move on a juggernaut, but man, a juggernaut is expensive to fight um, and risky. So it just seemed like attacking a bunch of screamers was a good idea, but it was not a good idea. And I needed to stop. So, you know, maybe a character with a little bit more stamina uh, should be the one to uh, take on some screamers. Because uh, apparently I'd forgotten what injuries I associated with their... Um, uh, vomit attack, but apparently it's respiratory injuries. Hi. Oh, gosh. Nope. Stop it. Oh, you butt. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. He didn't take my door. I appreciate that. Oh, come on. Okay, thanks, random friend, for helping me. <laughs> All right. Let's replenish our bullets at the very least. 357, I think, is what we're shooting. And then... Let's drop this off. Let's get her some... Actually, what she probably needs is stimulants. Oh, interesting. So Kalusian suggests that when I'm parking my car, I should make like Brian Menard and uh, smash the front of my car into something as I'm parking so that um, zombies can't climb onto the front of the car as I'm leaving. That's a clever idea. I should absolutely keep that in mind. Thanks, Kalusian. So 
So, Lacolision says, I have never realized that the Burro Gordo was a joke for fat ass. <laughs> yeah, I, at least, I assume that no one told me that. I just, that's how I read it. I mean, I think that, like, Brant or somebody, I don't know who it would have been who came up with that sign. Uh, somebody came up with it. I just assumed that that's what they were saying. Uh, but I, no, one, no one told me that's what they meant. They might, actually, whoever came up with it might be annoyed at me for, for reading it that way. All right, so let's have a look at our base. Okay, yes, yeah, so we got a farm to upgrade further. We've also installed this mod. Let's boost our yields. That's not gonna happen. And then, yeah, whenever I get my, I'm trying to remember how much, how much influence did it cost to claim the landmark? A thousand. Okay, so I need to get up from the 470 that I've got right now, uh, in order to claim that. And so we yeah, have, so we've got some time here. So, how well have we done so far? So now we're up to my farm and my garden too, together to five, 9.5 with the outposts. So basically we just need to cover four more. So once I've upgraded my farm, so it's making more per day and installed the plus 100% yield um, uh, 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 facility mod that I have and scatter extra seeds in there, I think I'll have overcome my food problems. Oh, that's true. Uh, like Olysian suggested, if I had come home for the siege, I would have gotten an extra uh, 200 influence. That is true. I was actually thinking the same thing in the back of my head. But I was busy and I'm tired. Whatever. I can't be bothered. So, yeah, let's see how much boost boosting yields does with the farm. Because right now the garden two is plus three a day. And actually, I'm trying to remember. So I'm a trader. Was it the trader who can level their gardens and farms up more than other people? Because if that's the case, yeah, no, that's not a thing. that that might be need to become part of my plan. Which means I mean, I'm low on materials now. Weirdly, I'm low on materials because I was blowing them all to make parts. Um, I might need to go out there and try to find some more materials. Who has got materials left? No one. I probably already took materials from that one. Okay, that one right there. That's got materials. This one probably doesn't. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, so there's a few materials still scattered across the map. And I could probably use the... Um... Oh, yeah. There's some places I haven't fully explored yet. And so, yeah. There are going to be places to find materials. So I'll just need to run around and find those at some point. So I guess, you know, we've been doing this for half an hour. And I'm getting real tired. So we should probably save the rest of my food quest. Which will probably include some material scavenging for next time. But the best, the most important thing is... My food numbers are no longer yellow, which means that I'm only a couple days away from starvation. Oh, uh, the coalition said that there's materials in the south center of the map. Oh, right here. The Ogden Brothers Warehouse. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that is that is a good place to go to. So yeah, we'll have to go material scavenging, presuming that I'm remembering correctly. Oh, the stranded city folk want materials? No, thank you. Uh, they can just fend for themselves. I, it's a race against time now. That would be kind of neat, right, if it was a race against time, if other uh, enclaves out there were scavenging just like you. It would make the game very different. Oh, Coalition is pointing out that, yes, I can upgrade, um, as a trader, I can upgrade these things further, but only the farm. Okay, so this is going to take another 15 minutes, so I I'm not going to sit here and wait for this uh, on the stream. So, uh, M2, uh, sorry, M1, M2, E3... How do you want people to pronounce that? M1, M2, E3. It could be like mim 2 -E or something like that. Anyway, M1 uh, says this map is really bad for materials. I would not be surprised. Uh, I mean, I, I, I haven't actually compared the maps myself, but uh, I, I, each map is, 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 is probably... Uh, it's it's a, a... What am I trying to say? an outlier in some direction. Uh, there's, so, there's something that's got a lot more of and something has got less of, but not by a huge degree. We originally intended, actually, to have the maps have much larger resource differences, but then we realized that everyone needs the same resources no matter what map they're on, so it's just annoying to make it really dramatic. And so, you know, so there are still differences. We try to keep it fairly subtle. So, uh, Space Case wants to know if I've ever played the board game Cosmic Encounters. I think when I was a kid, my family owned that game, but I never played it. It seemed long and intimidating. So, no, I haven't had experience with it. I'm aware of the game, but I haven't had any experience playing it. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so uh, and, uh so Kellis suggests calling him Eminem. So uh, Eminem says uh, the most maps apparently have a lot of garages, and and it, like just it basically every house has got some kind of garage or something next to it that offers materials. Whereas in this map, a lot of those same buildings, and actually I can show you this, a lot of the same buildings are like weird special cases instead, like. Uh, oh, let me get into the actual game so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is a maintenance shed, which is not classified as a garage. And white tool shed, not classified as a regular garage or shed. Like, uh, if any of these things that are, if they're actually classified as a regular garage or shed, like this one, they'll end up with a materials profile. But uh, these ones, for some reason, we did not mark these as being traditional garages. Though here's another place that could have materials. So yeah, so there are definitely places I can go searching for materials, and that seems like uh, a good a good plan for the next for the next session. So, um, Jeffrey, when you watch this video later, the very end of this video, to try to remind yourself what you were gonna do next time, uh, what you're gonna do is search the eastern side of the map, the southeastern side of the map, for materials because you think you can probably upgrade your farm. So that's what you're gonna do. Let's see if I remember that. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, you can click other videos, and you can watch this video to see if it's anything like what I just said. And it might not be because I might not have made that episode yet.